Hi everyone. Welcome back to Blue Aquatics. As you can see in this video, we have a packet of Epsom salt. This humble compound can be a life saver for your fish under certain circumstances. Today, we are going to explore when and how you should use Epsom salt for fish treatment, covering all the possibilities. So, stick with us till the end of this video as we dive deep into the specifics of using Epsom salt to ensure your fish stay healthy and happy. So, let me tell you something about Epsom salt. Epsom salt, also known as magnesium sulfate, is a widely used remedy in aquariums due to its benefits for fish health. It's crucial to understand when it's appropriate to use this treatment and how to administer it correctly to avoid causing harm to your fish. We will cover the common conditions where Epsom salt can be helpful, proper dosages, methods of application and precautions you need to take. So, understanding the Epsom salt. First, let's understand what Epsom salt is. Friends, Epsom salt is made up of magnesium, sulfur and oxygen. It's different from regular table salt which is sodium chloride. The magnesium in Epsom salt is what makes it beneficial for your fish, particularly for treating ailments related to their digestive system and other internal problems. Magnesium is a vital element for both plants and animals. In fish, it helps regulate enzyme activity and maintain proper muscle and nerve function. It also plays a regular osmi regulation which is the process of maintaining the proper balance of salts and water in the body. When a fish is ill, its ability to regulate these functions can be compromised and Epsom salt can help restore balance. So some common conditions treated with Epsom salt. Friends, Epsom salt can be used to treat a variety of conditions in fish including Number 1 is constipation. So symptoms for this is Swollen belly, lack of appetite and difficulty in swimming. Cause Constipation is fish is often due to improper diet such as one lacking in fiber or overfeeding. It can also occur if the fish ingests something indigestible. Treatment Epsom salt helps by drawing water into the fish intestines which aids in passing stool. It acts as a laxative facilitating the movement of waste through the digestive tract. Second is swim bladder disorder. Symptoms Difficulty in maintaining balance, floating to the top or sinking to the bottom. Its cause is This disorder can be caused by the physical injury, infections, constipation or even genetic factors. The swim bladder helps a fish maintain buoyancy. Treatment Epsom salt can relieve swelling and reduce pressure on the swim bladder. By reducing internal swelling, it helps the fish regain its ability to control its buoyancy. Third is dropsy. Symptoms are Bloated body, raised scales or lethargy. It can be caused due to A disease itself but has symptoms of internal issues like bacterial infections, liver dysfunction or other internal organ failures. So the treatment is Epsom salt helps reduce internal swelling and fluid retention, making it easier for the fish body to deal with underlying issues. 
इट शुड बी यूज इन कंजंक्शन विद अदर ट्रीटमेंट्स लाइक एंटीबायोटिक्स फोर्थ इज ब्लोट इन चिचलेट्स सिम्टम्स swollen belly lack of appetite white feces its cause this blot can be caused by parasitic infections poor diet or stress treatment epsom salt can help alleviate the blotting by drawing out excess fluids it's particularly useful in cases where the swelling is due to fluid retention fifth point is skin and gill issues so symptoms are red irritated skin inflamed gills difficulty in breathing cause these issues can be caused by parasites poor water quality or bacterial infections treatment Epsom salt can soothe skin irritation and reduce gill inflammation. It acts as an anti-inflammatory, helping to calm irritated tissues and promote healing. So some proper dosages and methods of application. Friends, getting the right dosage is critical when using Epsom salt. Here are the general guidelines which you can use while treating your fish. First is for constipation and swim bladder issues. Dosage is 1 tablespoon of epsom salt per 5 gallons of water. So how to use this means the method. Dissolve the salt in a separate container of tank water before adding it to the aquarium. Leave the fish in the treated water for 15 to 30 minutes. It's important to ensure that a epsom salt is fully dissolved to avoid any undissolved crystals irritating the fish. Second is for dropsy and severe bloat. Dosage: one to two teaspoons of epsom salt per 10 gallons of water. method This can be added directly to the quarantine tank and left for a longer duration usually 3 to 4 days during this time it's important to maintain the water quality and monitor the fish for any signs of improvement or distress third is for skin and gill issues dosage 1 teaspoon of epsom salt per gallon of water method use as a short term bath for 15 to 20 minutes depending on the severity of the symptoms this can be done once or twice a day but be sure to observe the fish closely and remove them from the bath if they show signs of stress friends Always remember to dissolve epsom salt completely in water before introducing it to your fish tank or quarantine tank. Never add it directly to the tank without dissolving it first. Undissolved epsom salt can cause irritation and harm to your fish. For chronic conditions or long-term treatments, consider using epsom salt in a separated hospital tank. This allows for better control over the treatment environment and minimizes stress on the other fish in your main aquarium. It also helps in preventing any adverse effects on plants or other sensitive tank inhabitants. So some precautions and considerations. Using epsom salt improperly can do more harm than good. Here are some precautions. First is monitor fish behavior. Watch your fish closely after adding epsom salt. If they show signs of distress, remove them from the treated water immediately. Look for signs such as erratic swimming, excessive gill movements, or attempt to jump out of the water.
इट्स ऑफन बेटर टू ट्रीट फिश इन ए सेपरेट क्वारंटीन टैंक टू अवॉइड स्ट्रेस अदर फिश एंड प्लांट्स इन योर मेन एक्वेरियम दिस ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन प्रिवेंटिंग एनी पोटेंशियल स्प्रेड ऑफ डिजीज थर्ड पॉइंट इज ग्रेजुअल इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोड्यूस एप्सम सॉल्ट ग्रेजुअली एस्पेशली इफ इट्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर यूजिंग इट स्टार्ट विद लोअर डोसेज एंड ऑब्जर्व द फिश रिस्पॉन्स Gradually increase the dosage if necessary, but never exceed the recommended amounts. Fourth one is frequency. Avoid frequent use of Epsom salt treatments. They should be used as a so short-term remedy rather than a regular treatment. Overuse can lead to imbalances in water chemistry and potential health issues for your fish. Fifth one is water quality. maintain good water quality during treatment regular water changes and monitoring of ammonia nitrite and nitrate levels are essential epsom salt treatments can sometimes impact the ph and hardness of the water so it's important to keep an eye on these parameters friends in addition to these precautions always consult brew aquatics if you are unsure about using epsom salt for your fish we provide valuable insights and guidance tailored to your specific situation you can comment under any of our video and we will be happy to help you so concluding this in conclusion epsom salt can be highly effective treatment for a variety of fish ailments including constipation swim bladder disorders dropsy bloat and skin and gill issues The key to successful treatment lies in the understanding the proper dosages, methods of application and precautions. Always monitor your fish closely and use a quarantine tank whenever possible. Friends remember, Epsom salt is a powerful tool in your fish care arsenal, but it must be used correctly to ensure the health and well-being of your aquatic friends. So, thanks for watching this video and have a happy fish keeping. Please Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more future updates. Thank you.